Good morning, everyone. Yeah, thank you for attending today's webinar about the uh, uh, Yijin Jing, this 14 weeks courses. Well, uh, practically before we start, I want to just uh, give you a suggestion. Later, when you are going to ask questions, you know, at the chatting uh, box, um, you're sending to everyone, then there's a chat mode on the side, you click it again, then there's a Q&A mode. Try to raise your question with Q&A mode so that I won't miss it because it is pops out with uh, the, the, the bold red characters, okay? Um, well, before you ask questions, let me just talk more in a general uh, 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 understanding. It may cover already some of your questions, okay? Um, you know, each time when I uh, start this 40 weeks courses, for me and Dome, it's like huge excitement. Yeah. Uh, first, it recalls me a lot of memories when I was practicing, when I was a little boy, when I was in the do doing 100 days water fast, when I was with my master. So that sweet, special memories comes to me. And also, of course, all this beautiful experiences that I have um, encountered, uh, I have had for so long ago. So each time when we're running this course, it's like refresh my mind, recall the sweet memories, and of course, we strengthen my practice. Because this Yi Jin Jing practice is a lifelong practice. Yeah. No matter how many times I practice, it's just like always get something new, right? Get something new. First, what is Yi Jin Jing? Yeah, Yi Jin Jing. In the introductory uh, uh, articles and videos, you may already read it. Yeah. So, uh, Yi Jing, there are three words. Yi Jin Jing. Yeah. And there's a two words, very, very famous book called Yi Ching. The, chain, the book of change, you must have heard about it if you haven't done it. So they, they uh, actually draw the lots. Yeah, they, uh, they try to do something that they can tell something what is going to happen. Uh, much more profound. Well, it is said, uh, besides Bible, I Ching is most published book yeah, in the world. So that is the classic book of Yijin, the change. Of course, Yijin is about the change of the big universe, all right? The universal law. And in Yijin, they're using Ba Gua, you know, 60 Gua, 64 Gua. And based on the basic principles of Yin and Yang, all right? <clears throat> so we put this on, on the side. Yijin Jing, yeah, we have a word in the middle. Yeah, Yi, change, Qing, the classics. The classics of change in the middle have Jin, J-I-N, Jing. This word means changing, well, literally means sinew. Of course, it, it's a lot, a lot more than sinew. We're just using one word to mean something, yeah, to mean uh, the connected the connectedness of we as human beings, yeah. You know, we are connected with so many things to make us as one being, yeah. We're connected ourselves, yeah, just inside. All the particles, yeah, the, 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 uh, the quantums, yeah, then the DNA, then, you know, the, 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 the atoms, the molecules, the cells, tissues, organs, all this, yeah, to make us as Robert Payne, as John Smith, wherever, all right, Mary. <clears throat> so this connectedness, yeah, connectedness, it's not just now, I'm just talking about physical, but also mentally and f spiritually, they have also connections. So that is Jean is the one that shows the highlights of the connection, yeah, the connection. Physically, especially, yeah, we're changing. Jing means sinew. Then based on sinew, all the connectiveness, like between 
bones and uh, uh, and muscles. Between the muscles, between the uh, the, 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 the the blood tube and your muscles, between the skins and muscles, and all this, yeah, they are connected to each other. With what? Yeah, you cannot just have put things together. You have to have put things together. You need to have some glue, right? That glue here in our human body is the fascia. The fascia. The fascia. Maybe in Western world is not paying too much attention to to it. Yeah. Because it's just the fascia, it's the layer, yeah, to connect together. But actually, in terms of the medicine or energy, they are like the network to connect all things together. It is like you have a building. It's suppose you are your building is like a high, you know, high skyscraper, a tall building as a as a body. Then all the cells are like each room. Imagine if you have all these rooms without all that connections of the wires, of the uh, uh, central air, all this kind of system, you're isolated. Then the whole building is dumb, yeah, it's dull, it's not working properly. So all this connectedness, yeah, is making yourself as a human being hold things very efficiently working as one yeah so that's simply what genius so so it's the changing through changing the connectedness of our body of course we train all each part and also glue them together we are transformed yeah so transformed so that's what eating gene itself means yeah eating itself means and um actually this is this is a quite an ancient practice about uh five or six centuries introduced by bodhidharma yeah bodhidharma um if you're doing buddhism for sure you know he's the zen uh, buddhist founder in china yeah he said he was a prince from india yeah then he traveled to china <clears throat> I lived there for uh, during fifth and sixth centuries in China, and uh, at that time, you know, it's it's the Buddhism is already very popular. Different schools, different branches of the uh, Buddhism, yeah. So he, as Zen Buddhist monks, yeah, he began to teach his own ways. Of course, always start to face a lot a lot of difficulties he even met the the emperor yeah he even met the emperor talking about zen buddhism of course the zen buddhism um it doesn't convey through just talking it's through the experience it's through zen you know a lot of koans about zen buddhism right so <clears throat> then he f he's like chased by the others this way the other way then he 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 has a call he had a call that i should go to the north yeah to really have a root find a place to root it and then begin to uh, make it spread then while he's walking towards the north and when he's going to begin to cross the yangtze river bandits are chasing him and there's no boat well he broke off a, a reed, you know, it's kind of leaf, a reed, put in the water, water jump on the, really, uh, on the reef, and like roll in the boat, cross the river. Then all the bandits begin to kneel down. <laughs> they are just like amazed about this. Of course, it's legendary, but amazed about this kind of um, uh, uh, phenomenon. And actually quite a lot of them begin to cross the river later by boat of course and begin to follow him yeah then he went to a monastery called shaolin temple yeah shaolin temple shaolin temple 
Now, even now, I think around the world, they have Shaolin Temple martial arts show. Amazing, like stunning shows uh, of martial arts about or about resilience of the body strength. Mm. But actually, when uh, Bodhidharma went there, he was not so open. He was not so uh, 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 opened by them. Yeah, they ignored him. Yeah, and also they are very sickly because at that time their understanding about the spirituality is that I just need, I just want to do the enlightenment. I don't take care of the body. Body is just like a smelly corpse, all right? Smelly corpse. We don't take care of it. We don't mind. Yeah, we just want to have enlightenment. Then we go. Yeah. But his teaching is that simply to say, well, if you need to have a good spirituality, have a good container to hold your spirituality, at least in this life, right? <clears throat> and in order for people to really uh, get convinced, he, not really convinced, yeah, he began to get into the meditation. He went to uh, a mountain, went to the cave, then he resided in the cave, and every day, day and night, he's just uh, sitting, facing the wall, doing the meditation, yeah, for nine years, no speaking of the entire time. Because he's, he's doing meditation every time when the sun shines, his shadow was uh, reflected on the wall, then that, that shadow was carved because of his energy, it's not just the, um, uh, uh, the shadow itself. Of course, people begin to, at first they say, well, there's a strange monk sitting there, yeah, doing nothing, yeah. Then they are just fascinated and all of them gather. And of course, the abbot of Shanghai Temple was really like touched and they know that is, this is a big master. So they begin to invite him to the Shaolin Temple mm. and to see all these sickly monks yeah, trying to get enlightenment. So he began to teach them, he said, well, try to have a good container. Yeah, you should do some practice to make yourself strong. Yeah, strong. Then he began to teach them besides Zen Buddhism, then some beautiful exercise. And within a short time, all oh, this sickly monk, they become to be very fit. Yeah, become to be very in a very good shape. Then they're talking, you know, the sound, they're walking are beautiful. Yeah, so it's very amazing, very amazing. Then of course, this began to divide into two big branches. One branch is Chinese Zen Buddhism, which now is very well developed in Japan. So it's all traced there. You know, there's a lot of koan about Zen Buddhism because Zen Buddhism use koan, which is like a riddle or puzzle that Zen Buddhists uh, use during meditation to help them unravel greater truths yeah, about the world and about themselves. Yeah. So Zen masters have been testing their students with these stories, sometimes very strange questions or phrases for centuries. And some of them very popular or very well known is that they whack you, right? When you cannot answer or you get uh, stunned with the answer, they whack you, then it's like open up, right? Like uh, very well known is that, what can you do? Nothing, yeah. But when you can do nothing, what can you do? Right? What is the sound of one hand clapping? So this is like blind, that is mind blowing. Yeah. When you take everything grounded, now you look at it, then you find, whoa. From some dimensions, you don't need an answer, but just thinking about it, just meditating on it, just being aware of it is huge achievement. Yeah. So that's one branch which which is even nowadays even in western world yeah, zen buddhism is one of the most popular uh schools of buddhism
which traced back to Bodhidharma. Yeah. In Chinese, we say Da Da Mo D A M O. Then the other branch, yeah, like I mentioned, are the mushroom monks because then when they started practice all those exercises, they are getting so fit. Then he began to teach them more and more practices, more elaborate. Yeah, they are, uh, then they collect. There are seventy-two, uh, like very special skills about martial art in Buddha uh, uh, in in Shaolin Temple. And among them, the most profound one, and also the one that really lay the great base for all things they want to build up. Is a practice called Yi Jin Jing, yeah, and this is the one that we're going to we're going to teach and we're going to practice, yeah, Yi Jin Jing. So this Yi Jin Jing practice, um, yeah, like I said, I practice for so many years, but each time when I do it, I still feel something new, yeah. Like uh, for this online course, fourteen weeks, we have done it for this is the sixth time. We have someone who done all six times. They still get something inspiring. Yeah, inspiring. There are like more than a hundred stories they share with us about how they uh, uh, experience. Yeah, what kind of transformation they made is inspiring. It's inspiring. <clears throat> so um, someone asked me, "Is what?" What uh, what is uh, special about the Yi Jin Jing you teach? Because if you Google, if you search uh, on YouTube, Yi Jin Jing, you may find oh my God, there are twenty versions of Yi Jin Jing. Which one I should follow? See this book here. Yeah, this book here is Yi Jin Jing. There, there are yeah, twenty different Yi Jin Jings. So, um. So you may get very confused, very confused. So uh, they're all beautiful. They're all good. Yeah. Uh, for what my master taught me, the, the my version of Yi Jin Jing is that we are very specialized with the breathing. Yeah. If you search on YouTube, you find almost none of them. Are talking about breathing, or at least they're not specializing in movement of breathing. They're just paying very little、uh, emphasis on breathing. But for the version that I got from my master, the breathing is the big, big factor. Yeah, which makes big sense. Yeah, because we are living in this world with the most essential things. That is breathing. Yeah, you can survive for a few days without water, for many longer days without food, but you cannot do it without breathing. One minute or two minutes. Yeah, I have a friend say, yeah,、uh, he keeps、um, a Guinness record of holding the breath under the water. Twenty-two minutes. Yeah, twenty-two minutes. That is the record. That is record. So more than one hour, even he is going to die. Right?、Uh, so、uh, it's not necessarily to say by holding the breath. It's what we want to say is that it's the breathing is like a blending elements for all your practices. So when this are involved, that is changes. It's like alloy. You know, you have two kind of metal. If you just bind them together, it's not big deal. But if you can mix them together, like melt it, then put it together, then that's total different things, right? So that is、um, the special thing. So what we do is that for all this fourteen weeks, yeah, the first week we, we、uh, I'm going to introduce you all kinds of breathing, which will be applied in. All the following weeks. So the first week is the breathing. Yeah, very、uh, 
uh, natural breathing, strong fire breathing, moderate fire breathing. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. Then every week, yeah, every week, we're going to focus on one of the theme through this movement. Yeah, uh, let me share you uh, one of the tables so you get the ideas. Uh, All right, so that is the table of the whole week, of the whole uh, uh, 14 weeks. So the first week, the first week is grand opening. Yeah, grand opening. We teach you different breathings. Then uh, second week, uh, 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 then the second week is number one. Yeah, the psych, we say cycle one or exercise one. Yeah, you begin to, through stretching the tendons, front, empower your lungs. Yeah, the lung emotion is associated with our grief and kindness. Yeah, so you want to transform the grief into kindness. They are like yin and yang. So the, the, uh, when you are in, uh, in the griefness, you want to melt into the kindness, yeah, so that can give you some nurture, yeah. Then the third week, the second cycle, we do stretch tendon on side, that empowers the large intestine and um, a transforming stagnations with relief, yeah. So I don't want to list all this, just give you a hint of this. Then at the uh, 14th week, yeah, after the 12 one the 14th week we have grand closes we put all things together in one piece in one like uh, in one go yeah in one big exercise yeah so every week we have some focus so every saturday is the teaching day we start in february 13th saturday and uh uh well someone asked me so well what time of the saturday well, it is pre-recorded. Just on Friday, we begin to re release the uh, the videos. So on Friday night or Saturday morning, you begin to watch. Yeah, and the Saturday teaching time varies. The first week is pretty long; it's about uh, about ninety minutes, I think. Yeah, so it's about one and a half hour. <clears throat> then it depends on each week's com how complex the movement is varies from 20 minutes to 50 minutes yeah so that is each week yeah each week and you choose your own time then after saturday sunday and friday so every day we have half an hour practice and this half an hour practice is uh combined with uh yin and yang movement or yin and yang practice yin yang practice is the movement in practice it's the meditation, yeah. We say stillness and movement, yeah. It's always good to combine with yin and yang, yeah. all right. And so every week, yeah, you uh, you you working on one of the organs, working on some emotions, working on your body, then you are like fused together, yeah. And quickly, some people will begin to uh, uh, to feel things like right away. Someone maybe feel it after some time. <clears throat> And uh, of course, doing this course is like it's not always like you're going like this, right? It's like it might go up and down. So if you do feel sometimes a little bit uh, blue or spacey, uh, that is also uh, very normal for a lot of situations. All right. Mm. Um, then about the about the about the course itself, yeah, about the course itself. And uh, uh, I want to also use like this way of webinar. Every now and then we're gonna, you're gonna get newsletters, yeah, every week about Friday, yeah, notify you about the coming weeks of uh, practice and also quite elaborate uh, explanations about the meaning of this practice. Then on Saturday you 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 learn on then Sunday Friday you, you practice right. <clears throat> so uh, if I 
uh, I'm going to arrange the webinar. Normally, I tell you one week in advance. Let's say this week, Friday, Saturday, uh, Friday I'm sending you an email, uh, newsletter, then tell you maybe next week we are going to have webinars with this link or the other link. Then you can join this, like this kind of question and answers to really deepen, not this question, but I also have some insightfulness to deepen uh, your understanding of the practice, which actually is, is uh, I think for, for, for a lot of repeat students, this is like ice cream. <laughs> That's like the favorite part of them. All right. Then uh, um, at the end of the courses, at the end of the courses, everybody will get a certificate. Well, to do this, Make sure when you register, when you enroll on your username, put the name that you want to appear on your certificate. Yeah, someone just put the nickname then on the certificate because it's all automatically generated. Then it's different name, then they have a lot of trouble of, of fixing it. So for now, if you decide to do that, then you can, uh, uh, you can, yeah, be careful about putting your username as the one that you want to do, okay? So, and let me see. Okay, another thing I want to share the screen with you is uh, or still about certificate, yeah. A home. Share this. Oh, <laughs> wrong one. Okay, course curriculum. Um, well, because it does happen to some people, a lot of people have no problem, but um, yeah, this is the screen I share here so that you know. All right, see on this left side here, there's a percentage. Now it's 0% complete. All right, it's 0% complete. So you want to have this 0% complete reaches to 100% complete, then the certificate will come itself, all right? So what you do is that every time when you like, say for example, this is dear, every page, yeah, you make sure on here, complete and continue, you press here. See, look, here it becomes to 2%. Yeah, it comes to the next one. Then just make sure you always, every page, every single page, you have complete and continue. Then it changes and it goes to all the way to 100. All right. So then let's look at the week one so you know what we have. Dear students, this is about the meaning of this uh, week. Yeah, what we do in text. Then Saturday teaching. Yeah, that's easy to know. That is uh, the videos we are going to have. Yeah, so you can watch one after another if there's a few pieces. Then Sunday and Friday is movement practice and a special meditation called Xi breathing. Yeah, Xi breathing is very powerful, but safe and profound meditation. Yeah, and then pay attention here, audio version. Yeah, because all this you just watch, but audio version 
is the same as all the soundtrack, but you have to down, uh, you can download and you can play. Because the things happens is that someone, they watch this, then they may feel like, because uh, Sunday to Friday, the exercise is the same. After you watch one or two times, you feel, I just like to listen to Robert and just do the exercise. You can use this audio version, all right? Another is that you can download. So if you go someplace without internet, you can play with this. It doesn't take too much of your space, all right? So even for audio version, even if you don't use it in case, you still make sure you complete and continue to make sure that you can have the uh, certificate when you reach there, okay? So that is about some practical things um, of the exercise. Um, now let's see the questions, okay? Let's see the questions. Um, Let's see. Um, yeah, try to use the question mode, Q and A mode. Okay, if you have questions. Um, Oh, yeah, someone asked, uh, how about the video today? The video today, I may uh, put it on uh, my YouTube. So if you search the YouTube, say, uh, Yi Jin Jin with Robert Penn. Yeah, uh, and let, me, let me put it in Yi Jin Jin with Robert Penn. I put this name like this and uh, then on the uh on the youtube you will be able to review this let me put it here okay he jin jin with rubber pen that is the name of this video so i put it on there for you to view, review and also if you want to refer to somebody else and okay so Another question, are you going to teach in the next webinar, studying for systemic SSO techniques to heal prostate cancer and heart failure? No, sorry, we're not doing the healing, we're doing the teaching, okay? And what you do is that all this, the illness, the disease, in energy medicine, we don't care, we don't have all those names yet, it is just, some blockages. So this happening a lot when someone is uh, coming for treatment for these things, then they find this thing solved, some other things is solved too, because when the, when the blockages is cleared, it's holistic healing, a lot of things. So don't have to worry about specific things for now, it just do the practice, yeah. Uh, so we're not doing specific healings. I... The question, yeah, maybe, let me see whether I can write it here. Does the breathing focus on certain yin and yang meridian? Uh, no, not for uh, the xi breathing. The xi breathing is that we have some, um, some quite uh, uh, dynamic breathing for about one or two minutes. Yeah, then you begin hold your breath because dynamic breath, it's clearing the pathways, clearing space, then your awareness is very, very uh, matching with where you focus on. So the energy are swamping there. Yeah. 
So it's not with meridian itself. Yeah. You can just go to your organ, you watch your organ, notice your organ, pay attention to your organ, pay attention to your fingers, pay attention to your oral beings. So don't worry about yin and yang. Yeah, I do have some lectures about the meridians, which we talk about yin meridian and yang meridian. Yeah, yin meridian is meridian flow inside the arms, inside the legs. Yeah, heart, lung, yeah. liver, all these things. All right, so um, that's the question. Now, um, next one. Can you practice? Yeah. Because there's some terms. Let me try to copy that. Okay. Can you practice? Yi Jing along with other Qigong, specifically Zhan Zhuang? Sure, yeah. Um, <clears throat> some teachers say, when you try to use my Qigong, you're not allowed to do the, do the others. Uh, I will say the same way, <laughs> no, not necessary. But it depends, yeah. Actually, all the exercises, they, 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 they blend each other. So I encourage you to learn from other teachers, yeah. My master always brought me to the other masters. Yeah. When I say my master, I refer to my master Shaya, but actually I have many masters. <laughs> yeah. Directly from him is quite a lot. Yeah. But sometimes, like, uh, say, for example, for this three months, you say, Oh, I want to, uh, really focus on this and also see what this practice alone can benefit me. Then you can. But in terms of energy is not a problem. Okay. It's not a problem. Now, uh, next one. Uh, Dong Wei already answered, are there any forms of meditation or Qigong that should not be practiced along with the Yi Jing? Uh, yes, yeah, no contradictory, you can. Is there a disc for repeat student? We don't have the disc, yeah. But at the end, at the end of the 14th week, uh, we are going to, you're going to have a download. Yeah, you're going to have a download for all, for the walkthrough, for the walkthrough. Um, like uh, here. Okay. Let me show you. Okay. So here at week all the way to week 14. Okay. See on week 14, we have the practice that you can download. Yeah. You can download. That is the exercise to put all together. See, so you see the practice is longer. It's 51 minutes. Yeah. And also, uh, I, I'm going to add something new or say 15 is that because 51 minutes is the one for nine repeat, the four repeat. Then we have another version with, uh, five repeats, which is shorter, three repeat, repeat even shorter. So you have three download videos and, um, and all the audios, the audios to, uh, that you can carry on your computer and practice to, to be get, to be guided. Okay. Mm. Will, can you speak about the Huang? I don't understand what you mean. Huang, H U N G. Uh, I have no idea. Okay. Jim asked, what is the Friday schedule? There's no schedule, as we said. On, on Saturday, we have teaching, and Friday, we have half an hour practice with two videos, and you can schedule your own time. Okay. Is there any age limit? No. 
anyone can do. And maybe someone they have like、uh, limitations of the physical movement, and that is、um, uh, uh, you can do it in a mod- meditation way or do some modifications. Yeah, we have some when we're teaching, we main we may mention some about modifications. Okay.、Mm. Monica, I will be doing the four golden wheels exercise, which is the other exercise while taking this course, both the Yijing Jing course and last course. Start Qigong with shaking. If I separate the two practices for different times of the day, do I need to start with shaking for each session? Good question. Shaking is my favorite practice to start the day to start exercise. Yeah.、Um, So you can take shaking as an opening, but if you feel I'm、uh, quite attuned already, so you can just go straight with Yi Jing Jing. Yeah,、mm. but I recommend you do some shaking. Are there any sessions live so I can ask questions? Or is everything pre-recorded? All the exercises, the teaching are pre-recorded. The live questions are here. Are like we may、uh, after we start in one or two weeks, we may have a webinar like this. Then you can ask live questions. Okay.、Mm. Does it matter what time of the day you practice? No, it doesn't matter. But don't do it when you are very full with your stomach, when you're very hungry, when you're drunk, <laughs> right? Yeah, you wait until normally after the, the meal, twenty minutes. But yeah, of course, if you have a very big meal, you wait longer. Not do it when it's like snowstorm, very heavy snow and thunderstorm. Yeah, then try to. Get away from that big changes of the weather. The timing is okay. Yeah. Does it have to be the same time every day? Not necessarily, but strongly recommend because your by clock may go at that time, so it's always click at the time, and it's also easy for you to keep. Yeah, you can set aside the time that is my sacred time of practice qigong. Yeah. No bother around. That's just my time. It's always better.、Mm. How long will the videos from the course will be available? Good. What I show just now for all these fourteen weeks courses, yeah, you're going to have the full access access of all of them for the whole year after the course finish, not from tomorrow, not from next week. We start next week, right, thirteenth. But for one year, it start from May the twenty first. So after May the twenty first, the whole year. So next year, May the twentieth. Yeah, you can have full access all them. So it should be long enough for you to, yeah, really master it. And also, like I mentioned, that many、uh, people repeat. Yeah, we have.、Uh, if you finish this one, you want to repeat. Someone says, "Why should I repeat it?" You don't shoot. You have no shoot. <laughs> But a lot of people they feel because this kind of collective energy、uh, is really powerful. Because when we start for this fourteen weeks, it's also for me to practice to escort energetically for all these thirty weeks. That's why I don't want to make this Yijing Jing as a like evergreen. You sign up, then you follow your own pace, which is not for this one. Yeah, because this one I want to. Uh, initiate everybody's chi together, and also for all these fourteen weeks, yeah, as many people we have, I want to collect all this cosmic energy together. So we are, although not together, but we are in a circle of cosmic chi, and also we are in the circle of community chi. All right.、Mm. Will we learn about meridians for specific organs? 
uh, we may mention that we uh, we may not spend huge time on that, but we are going to mention that too as time goes on. All right. Yeah, and also, okay, so this video, I, I will put, besides I put on YouTube, I will put also on the uh, the homepage of this, uh, of this EGG. So if you click uh, this 14 weeks, uh, 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 EGG 14 weeks, body, mind, spirit, uh, body, mind transformation, February to May 2021, this page, I will put it here. Let me just make it clear. Uh, I will put it, it here. Uh, all right. This is the, uh, that is the promotion page anyway. So I'm going to put this webinar just under here, under this start day. So I'm going to put a link here so you can watch that. So we have two places, okay? two places you can watch all this, yeah. I know that I will be able to download the practice. Will I be able to download the Saturday lessons? This is very uh, disjointed for me. No, you cannot download the video. You can download the audio. So you watch the video when you have online and you want to learn, learn it again, listen it again, use the video, okay, for the whole year. After the course, you will be able to have it. Okay. We'll have specific intention like life purpose, unconditional love, be helpful when learning, practicing. Well, that is what we are working on. Every uh, every week we work on uh, s s mindfulness, yeah, uh, uh, emotions and feelings, the mind, heart, all those things. Elaborately, because when we, we, it's easy for us to say, well, you should have a good heart, mind, heart. But they, a good mind, heart are endorsed by a lot of kidney chi, heart chi, liver chi, uh, gallbladder chi, to make it as a whole being as a, as a good one, okay, a good one. How does this compare with the class taught in December at Omega? When should that class be taken? The class in Omega is, uh, is she breathing, which, good question, which is used here. Uh, in the December for that 10 days, ooh, eight days, ooh, one week, yeah, one week practice. Uh, we focus on Xi breathing. Yeah, we don't have too much movement. We have eight cycles movement. Yeah. But we use Xi breathing, uh, to work on our three dantians, upper dantian wisdom, middle dantian love, lower dantian vitality, and central meridian, the harmony. Yeah. The harmony. And this one is a lot more elaborate and also they're working on different organs. Mm. Uh, would it enhance strengthening transformation of my body to eat light and avoid any stimulants like coffee? Also, I love the practice outside. Would the Asian gym practice heat me up like my standing postures? Do that help me in the shirt in the snow? Uh, like I said before, yeah, it, it, when you are changed from inside out, a lot of bad habits can be, uh, can be changed. That's what we call transformation. Yeah. Transformation. You can set an intention. Yeah. 
including the second question, you can set an intention. I want to have uh, this practice to uh, reduce my um, uh, uh, my weight or to reduce my addictions. Yeah, to raise my heat. Yeah, to um, to ease my anger. So you can have some intentions to practice before you start. Yeah, it doesn't come right away, but in the long run, it's like you climbing the mountain yeah, at first. Wow. But you don't always looking down. You climb for several hours, look down. Wow, I'm reaching here already. Yeah. So don't always check, check, check. It's very annoying. All right. Mm. Are any of the sessions live so we can ask questions? Well, it's, it's the same question we answered before, okay? Is it better to practice indoors or outdoors? It depends, yeah. Uh, if outdoors is pleasant, that's good. Yeah, if the weather is very dramatic, do it indoors, yeah. Just one thing to make sure if you're doing outdoors, especially if someone likes to do barefoot, as soon as you come back, either have a hot bath or use a bath towel to, to dry it as soon as possible. Yeah, you want to make your feet warm afterwards. Yeah. Well, so I'm going to ask about teacher training. Uh, we are going to do the teacher training sometime, but I don't know when. This year or next year, we're going to announce it in the um, in the uh, newsletter or you know on the website. Yeah. Okay, so I think that is. Uh, the question so far now. Um, well, thank you for attending. Yeah, for attending this uh, webinar because I, I know there's a lot of people that have questions. So that's why I organized this. We have one more week to go and Saturday, February 13th next week. Yeah, we are going to start officially start. I'm excited. The May is excited. Everybody is excited. Yeah, we're going to have a beautiful journey to, to start. And, uh, yeah, if you have questions, you can email us also. Mm. Um, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, someone asked, how can I start a teaching or healing path on Qigong? Yeah, we have healing courses, uh, healing, healers training courses. Go to my website to understand it better. Okay. Mm. All right, so uh, like our usual ways, I'm going to leave this for another five minutes because we have people from around the world and you can say hello to each other, maybe someone or, old, or your old friend. And as I said, I'm going to put this e-video uh, on the promotion page and on YouTube. Yeah, with the name Yijin Jing with Robert Penn. Thank you.